Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I am here to do my reaction video for season 3 episode 7 of Bad Woman. This time the title of the episode is Pick Your Poison. And yes, we are back. We're ready for a new episode of Bad Woman. If I'm not wrong, this is the mid-season finale for Bad Woman. But I could be wrong. So, <laughs> if there's a new episode coming this week... I will react to it. If not, we'll see you guys when Bad Woman returns. Uh, the previous episode ended with Sophie getting, getting some. Not from the lady I was expecting because I am a huge Wildmore shipper. And I, I have felt that this season, like, Wildmore can get together even faster. You know, because it's just, it's just, it, it's right there. They're just tempting us with it. But no, they decided to add drama to it, which I love. I do appreciate it. But I, I will have loved some drama after they got together. But anyways, she is hooking up. Sophie is hooking up with um, with Renee. Um, what is her last name? Montoya. I was gonna say Mendoza for some reason, but no, Montoya. And, um, which is like, okay, cool, because she's a single lady and Sophie can do whatever she wants. But, um, I want Wildmore. I'm not gonna deny it, so give me Wildmore already. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and also they're fighting, so that's not a good sign. Um, Mary has become evil and her sister... <laughs> um, Alice is completely supporting her <laughs> so we'll see what shenanigans they are going to be doing this week uh, I am happy that I get to watch uh, Bad Woman every week even though this is a little bit late but uh, still I love Bad Woman I love the show I love the characters and I am here for, for more so yeah I hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys continue supporting for more if you are, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link, as always, will be posted on the description down below. And for now, I think that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And without further ado, let's just begin with Season 3, Episode 7 of Batwoman. Here we go. <laughs> So how do you propose we make this happen if you don't think Jada will ever go for it? Well, the first thing that we gotta do is propose a plan that everyone loves. I just wanna say that she looks extremely cute. You know, I know that there is, you know, this happening and I don't know what the hell she's up to, but she looks extremely cute. I just wanna say that look at my girl. Can you go and find your girlfriend already? And by girlfriend, I mean Sophie. Whoa, whoa, what the hell is this? Yo, oh, what the hell? Sorry, Marcus. What's going on? It's for your own good, baby. Take him. Yes, ma'am. And you're telling me that, and you're telling me that she couldn't have done this without. I mean, what I mean is that why is Ryan involved? Because <laughs> it seems like they could, like, with all the main power that she has. She could have grabbed Marcus when he was asleep. Why is Ryan here? <laughs> Why are you getting yourself in trouble, girl? You took care of your family. And now your family will take care of you. You're not family. Tell me more about this favor you need. Oh, what is a favor? Oh, for, for Mary. Uh, okay, now I get it. Now I get why she's there. Well, well, hello to you, Sophie. Hello to you, Sophie Moore. You are the most beautiful woman in the planet. I just want to say that. I hope you had a good time. You know, I still, like, I am here for a while more. But I, I do ship Sophie with happiness. But, like, and, like she, it looks like she had a good time. Good for her. And bless whoever made this shot. And bless you. Have a happy holidays. You're drunk. What is that? Last night was fun. No idea what's 
in the fridge, but help yourself. Oh, you're in her house. Okay. Okay. Mary is poison ivy. Yeah. Is there a way to cure her? Not yet. Hello. Hello. How? Hello, lovers. How are they? How are them? Okay, look, I love you so much, but kindly walk away because I need them to talk. And because of COVID, we can have too many people on set, so kindly walk away. Exactly. Jada has the best minds editorial on it. Oh. I gave them a sample of Mary's blood. They're trying to synthesize an antidote. You did what? Your mom doesn't really do altruism, so what's in it for her? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh my god, you hot. This show is full of hot people. I just want to say that too. And as a bisexual lady, I appreciate all of this. I ran a facial recognition sweep of every camera in Gotham, but no phone signal, no credit card activity. Here's the hoping that when the sun goes down, she'll call us. Yeah, I don't think so. But what about Mary? But what about no, Alice? It's Alice. Uh, her tracker says that she breached her 15 mile perimeter. So she's off leash hauling ass out of Gotham. Your roommate happened to tell you where she was going this morning? Uh, I, mean, I didn't exactly go home last night. Ooh, girl, is she gonna go jelly? Great. Ooh, oh, did you see that face? Oh, baby, I'm loving the drama. Give it the drama. Give the drama to me. You know, the L word is like on a break, so I'm. I need my lesbian drama. Did you see the face? We're gonna repeat that because that was epic. I didn't exactly go home last night. Look at them! Oh, so <laughs> bitch, bitch! This ship is gonna is gonna tear me down. Is this Luke's Batwing AI? Oh yeah. Apparently, you just ripped it right off and almost took his arm along with it. I sincerely hope he's not left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. It's not nearly as bad as what you did to Ryan. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, well, you're in luck. <laughs> Our new ride has a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Trust sister she always start. wanted. It's nicer than the one in Arkham. Sometimes you need to pick your poison, dear. Who do you trust more right now? Your friends who will surely lock you away. They won't lock you away. Or your sister, who's trying to keep you free. What's your type? Tall, dark, and brooding. Your blood <laughs> I was gonna say something like that too. I was gonna say ladies, all like any, all of you. <laughs> oh, negative. You're about half a mile from Alice, west on I-15. Well, we're together in the bad thing, in the bad car. No, what is the name of it? The Batmobile. That bad. I, I don't know. I'm. I'm not really much of a comic book fan. I'm so sorry for what I just said. Oh, look at them! Oh, look at them! So badass. So, how do we find this um special someone? We're so. Oh, are we gonna test people or like do everyone knows their blood type? You know what women find so attractive in a guy? Their blood it's type. Not muscles are a big thing to count. It's. O negative blood. Think. Turn on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awful. You guys are awful. How are you gonna find? I don't know what the hell's going on here. Yeah. But you two are freaking out our customers with your vampire kink or whatever. <laughs> you're doing. You gotta take it out of here now. We're trying to educate people on the importance of knowing oh, your blood shit. type. Oh shit. You know what, what, Miss? You're completely right. I am so. Sorry, stay as long as you want. Oh, so she's a vampire who can't compel weird. people. Hey, can we get a bunch of shots in the house? You got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> See, people actually listen to this, Mary. <laughs> she gets free stuff. I think I'm gonna like her. <laughs> I just stole from a small business and I don't even feel bad about it. You're growing! <laughs> Alice is proud. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> if she goes full-blown poison ivy, 
The mayor has authorized extreme measures. At the time, I didn't realize they were talking about Mary. Who's they? Renee Montoya. Who I used lip with. Last night, when I fucked her. So she's the reason you didn't go home last night. Oh! Oh! permission. Ooh. We're going for the jealousy? Do it. Do it. Hurt me. <laughs> Sleep with the woman blackmailing me, threatening me with prison. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, of course not. I am so happy you two found each other. Damn it! Damn uh, it! Yeah, we're from Deterian. The cure is ready. Copy. Let's go. Oh shit! Oh shit, the drama though! Oh shit, the drama. I am loving it. I am loving it. Cause it's just- it's, it gives me more reason to ship- to ship wild more, you know? And also because I like pain. So, this is perfect for me. Oh my god. I don't blame him. She kidnapped him. And was about to freeze him for a while. Please escort Mr. Jet out. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <gasps> oh my god. Here's your pen. Yeah, you're gonna piss him off. You're quick. I know you don't trust me. No. I made a lot of mistakes, but I always keep my promises. I don't know. I don't trust you, girl. Woman. It should be in here. FS. Oh. <laughs> the fuck. The fuck. Marcus. That was Marcus. What have you done? Well, apparently. He's being killed! Oh, Luke. Jesus Christ! Chill. He's alive, I checked. That one? Not Your so much. Guard's another story. Obviously, you have a price. So let's get to the part where you tell me what it is, since the clock is ticking. All business. Yeah, me too. And what I want is... Your autograph. On a resignation letter of you stepping down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. What? Oh, I also want all your stock options. <gasps> You're making us nervous, Marcus. Really? I really wish I would have gotten the chance to know the real you. Well, this is a real him. Joker destroyed you. Ah, oh, okay. If the Joker was so horrible, why was he the only one in this damn city who looked like he was having any fun? Because he was a psychopath. Thanks. Because I just assumed that she'd always be there. Well, I took my eyes off Alice to spend the night with Renee. We know. So if you're having a guilt party, make room for one more. Well, so it's not the out. same. You and Renee are a thing now? No, We're not no. A thing. No. We had a thing which technically didn't even last till breakfast. Which says a lot, considering she lives above a GC jitters. Yeah, but if there's one thing that a sleep deprived Mary Hamilton cannot live without, it is coffee. And Okay. Yeah. She used her rewards card at a GC jitters outside of Metropolis two hours ago. <laughs> That's our Mary. Leave no reward point behind. Looks like you know her better than you think. Yeah, okay. You mean when you saved your own skin by sticking that off-brand vampire onto moi by luring her with the fact that I had desert rose in my blood, which was only there because you gave my mom the choice between her and me with only one cure between us? Yes, exactly. That's yeah. a good recap. <laughs> I'm gonna stay with you through this whole Mary metamorphosis. Okay. You'd be a lot easier to trust if you weren't a serial killer. <laughs> true. A true. serial killer who hasn't left you, doubted you, or ignored you. But did kill your mother, though. Do you really want to be alone right now? Or do you want help from the only family you have left? Very true, though. Maybe you can compel her to not lie to you, you know? Marcus? Hi, Mom. Where are you? 
right behind you. What the fuck? <laughs> Made you look. Why are you calling? <laughs> He's evil. You to turn on your TV tomorrow, 9 a.m. sharp. Any channel. You know, the first sign of Sprouts Kate would have locked you away in Arkham. Yeah. Then she would have felt really bad about it in her journal. <laughs> <laughs> They're bonding. Let's get out of here. We need to ditch an Oh, <laughs> these two sisters are trouble. Poor guy. Hey, at least you're not dead. Why'd you stop? I didn't. <laughs> oh damn. Oh damn. Promise. Oh gee. What will you do to me if I don't take the cure? I would have to keep you confined until we figure something oh out. Oh my god. I can't just let you hurt people. Let's see? That's what I thought. Oh, okay. Okay, we're doing this. <laughs> and Alice is having the time of her life. Oh my god. I step out of your shadow and into my own sunlight. Oh my god. Well, I am glad though that we're getting some drama and storyline with Mary independently from the team. I like this. Oh, hello to you too. Are you gonna kiss? She didn't want to be saved. Can you guys hug? Well, we're not giving up on her. You don't get it. I think she's given up on us. Oh. Damn. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> the day they those two kiss, I will be like dead. Yeah, the bat cave is sealed. We're not getting back in there, but we have the bat suit, the batmobile, and not much else. Gee, I am so sorry, Luke. I traded away the Wayne legacy for nothing. No, you did it for Mary. You did it for Mary. Exactly. Don't say you did it for nothing. That's not nothing. Exactly. This is the reason why she's upset right now with you. And you. Good morning, citizens of Gotham. I am honored and proud to introduce myself. You look really good in orange. Business. I need hash browns and coffee stat. What could possibly be taking you so long? You know, as much as I make it look effortless, it takes time to make bad look this good. Hello? Do I have a costume now? Hi. How you have blossomed. Yeah, indeed. I don't care what we do or where we go. As long as it's fun. Look at that waist. Now I call you to join me at the peak of greatness. Mm. Well, he certainly looks like fun. Oh shit, Mary! Okay, that's a look. Okay guys, so that was the end of season 3 episode 7 of Batwoman. This was a really good episode, I must say. It was pretty much everything, pretty much everything I wanted. You know, in terms of Mary, right? And Alice, relationship, bond, as sisters. Because I, you know, like I have been saying, they both have this story with their family where they are both the ones who are left out, you know. Uh, her dad never continued looking for her. Uh, the minute Kate had the chance to lock her up, she did. Um, Mary has never been paying attention to. She has always wanted to be there for her family. She has never wanted to, you know, no one has ever actually wanted to be with her. Even now, Ryan, you know, who she started all of this alongside Mary. Uh, but since she took this uh, leadership uh, position of being bad woman and be the CEO of Wayne Enterprise and, and all of that, it had given her really little time to be a good friend to Mary, to be there for Mary as much as Mary was there for her at the beginning, 
you know? So now, of course, Mary is resentful of that. And there are a lot of changes happening in her body, both physically and psychologically. Is that how you say it? Psychologically. Yeah, happening. And having the little devil, you know, um, talking in her ear uh, and just, you know, pushing those insecurities of like, no one actually wants you. You know, they're not really here for you. They are just going to use you. And like all of these whispers that she gets from Alice, of course, they had to make some um, echo in her mind and for her to choose to actually go with Alice instead of, you know, go back to normal and being just Mary. You know, she's kind of tired of being just Mary. You know, the one that is looked over and like not really listen, you know, and uh, feeling really unappreciative by everyone in her family and her friends. So she has this chance and she is already changing. And Alice just took the uh, advantage of doing that and decided to go along with the ride. And as much as I like this change of pace and I would love if this stay really stay you know, sticks, and I, you know, will want, I will want Alice to be Alice always, you know, because that is what one of the most fun things about her character, that she's so unpredictable, but I do want for this two characters who always wanted that connection to Kate, and wanted to, you know, just because, you know, because Alice and Kate were were twins and she wanted the twin thing to be real and she wanted that. And for Mary, just because she was such a great uh, sister, she wanted Kate to choose her and Kate never did. I do want them to have this bond that lasts longer than the arc that we are going into with, with Mary. You know, I, I, I really want them, you know, despite probably Mary going back to not being evil, probably, for her to still have this trust with Alice, for them to understand each other in that level. You know, I do want, you know, for her to, you know, for Ryan to to be, to save her or to help her to be there for Mary as well. And same goes for Luke. But I think that it will be a terrible missed, missed opportunity if they don't take advantage of the bond that Alice and Mary could have. Yes, the whole you made, you killed my mom and all of that will have to resurface and will have to mean something um, eventually um, where truly Alice will be sorry for what she did to Mary. Not sorry for the mom, but sorry for what she did to Mary, you know, in that, in the fact that she had to witness her mom dying in her arms, you know, um, but I do not want it to be just forgotten, because they are sisters at the end of the day, you know, and I, and, you know, they never wanted each other, they always wanted each other's out of their life, because they both want to Kate, but for both of them to find themselves in this position of where they can bond, I think it will be amazing and and it's an amazing opportunity if the writers actually decide to take that you know I think it will be incredible and they play off each other so well they make such a good team and you know they're funny together they are terrifying together they are mischievous and they are just like it's it's an amazing duo and I I I love it I love their dynamic um so yeah hopefully oh my god my camera's about to turn off wait hold on Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully it doesn't turn off again. Anyway, so what I was saying, love the dynamic between them. Hopefully we can uh, continue seeing that uh, on the future episodes. Um, Anyway, so Sophie and Renee slept together on the previous episode, which is the previous night for them. And um, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> uh, she wakes up like how I don't know what the hell is wrong with Renee honestly because she has the hottest woman well one off because I mean <laughs> you still have um, Ryan you know there's a lot of hot women, women in this town but you have one of the hottest women 
in Gotham in your bed and you decide to leave and drop a note and say, yeah, yeah, you can have breakfast there. I mean, I understand that it was a hookup and I think that Sophie understands that it was a hookup. You know, it was a one time thing or something like that. But like she woke up, there was no one in the bed with her. And like I, I the willpower of Renee Montoya to walk away from from Sophie Moore is like, girl, I don't know where she gets her strength. I wouldn't have been able to do it. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, she has her thing. And since she's single, you know, she doesn't have to hide it. And I'm glad that this is out of it's out of the way. You know, it's it's she doesn't have to hide that she's a single lady. That she's ready to, you know, mingle with everyone. Because, you know, more power to her. Um, but then Ryan acts like all jelly. And I'm like, I'm all for the drama. Trust me, I'm all for the drama. But I was like, honey, Ryan, you did not tell her about your plan with your mom. You know, your, your, your game or your deal you had with your mom about Marcus. And you want her to share this with you? Probably the reason she slept with her is because she was p pissed at you. You do know this, right? So, when I said I want drama, lesbian drama, I mean this. It's a good thing. It's, it's, it's good, okay? It's like, it's killing me? Because it's like, what? But, but for me, it's putting more like cementing the relationship, cementing the, the ship. While more is rising... Even if they are having these issues, in my opinion, they're rising, okay? Um, yes, I said I wanted the drama. It would have been lovely, though, if the drama could have happened after they kiss or they bang. Like, I, I, I like pain, but I also enjoy things, you know? So, I would have loved if this came after something happened with them, but... Seeing the jealousy, seeing that she, like, like, um, Sophie was like, so what? I am single. I can hook up with whatever I want. I don't need to ask for your permission. And Ryan was like, of course not. Like, she didn't even care. Sure. Sure, you didn't care. Sure, you were not her. Sure, you were not jealous. We believe you. No one believes you, by the way. <laughs> No one, <laughs> because it's and for me, it's like, I, it's, I know it's painful. I know it should be like, just pissed. But for me, it's just like, we are seeing them that they are in love, but they are, especially Ryan at the point where she's denying that she has feelings for Sophie. So she'd rather be pissed at her. Okay, you do you boo, but we know because Sophie is like, Sophie is in love with Ryan. Like, she is madly in love with Ryan. Okay? She she likes her. She loves her. Ryan does too. But Ryan is kind of like slowly coming to terms with the fact that I actually do like her. You know? So she's playing hard to get. And in the meantime, my girl is living with half of Gotham. <sighs> Which is like drama. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Because all, all, everything that just happened in this episode just tells me that Wildmore is getting together this season. It's happening and it's going to be bloody epic. It's going to be epic. Oh, you catch them. Catch me dying the first time they kiss. Catch me dying the first time they kiss. Okay, because we have seen like the hugs and like the I support you, I believe in you. I'm like, we have gone in all of that. But, like, they're building them up. Oh, my God. The payoff is going to be amazing. The payoff is going to be amazing. Um, anyway, so. What happened? <laughs> Other than the fact that I was just thinking about Wildmore the entire time. Well, the psycho, the brother, Marcus, just full on agreed that, okay, yes, I am crazy, you know. And I'm going to embrace it. And, like, is he supposed to be your version for Batwoman, like, our version of of the Joker? Or, I don't know. He rocked that orange suit. Orange is a very difficult color to wear. He rocked it. 
and he had like the purple hair. I think he was supposed like he was, you know, um, paying homage. I think to to the Joker, right? In a sense, I think didn't he had like green hair or was it purple? I I don't remember. Thing is that um, he did all of this. He was you know playing, and he's a psycho. Of course, he doesn't care about Brian. He doesn't give a damn about this. He was probably planning to take over Wayne Enterprise during all this time. Maybe his plans change and this is the way he did it, you know. But he has been planning this since the get like from the beginning. Um, do I trust Jada Jed? Not one bit. You know why? Because my girl Sophie doesn't trust her. So as long as she doesn't trust her, I won't trust her. That's how whip I am. Yes. Um, but I just don't trust her, you know. She's doing this. She she still did this, the whole freezing serum thing, you know. Uh, not knowing that they were using it on humans, but, like, not even really caring about it. And it was right. One of, like, it was one, one of the people that got hurt was Sophie's sister, you know. And to me, you know... I love Sophie, so of course I'm going to protect uh, Jordan, you know, so if she's mad, if my girl Sophie is mad, I will be mad with her, okay? That's how simple things are for me sometimes. Um, but yeah, so I don't trust Jade at all. Anyways, what else happened? Oh, I think that Luke is realizing that he is in love with Mary, which I kind of I, I am for it right now. Because before, I, I wasn't like, they look cute, but like, I wasn't like, too invested. But like, how cute he was on this episode when he was like, oh, maybe Mary is like, going for her coffee, you know, and he figured it out with the coffee, which is, was something very simple, but very merry, you know. It was a really sweet moment. I really like that. Um, so I can't, I can't, I'm actually like, you know, I'm actually seeing them, which is nice, you know. Yeah. Anyways, what else happened in the episode? Oh, Mary changed outfits. I wonder where she got this outfit that she went. Like, also, her waist was is the size of my arm. Like, honest to God, like, how gorgeous she looked at that in the last scene. Gorgeous. Um, but where she got the material to dress... As Poison Ivy. I think she also did her hair. And I was like, how did she do that? I don't know where the superheroes and the supervillains get the time to actually change before going out and fight. Or do their evil things. But like, kudos to them. The makeover and like, it was just, she looked amazing. She looked amazing. Yeah. And I cannot wait to see like evil Mary but with a conscience, kind of. And I really hope that she doesn't lose her powers, though, because the compulsion thing, you know, it was very much like on the Vampire Diaries where when, when they compel people and they look directly at it, and the, the vampires do that um, without the green effect, you know, but it was very much that. And they also have done something similar to what used to happen on the Vampire Diaries in the originals. And I think that some of the writers from there are on this show as well, is that they did the the dagger with the thing, and you you know how they did with the originals when they put the originals down. They use a specific dagger that they put on the originals, and then when they take it took it off, they were back. You know, so <laughs> it's, it was real funny. I think it was it was it was funny. It, it's funny that it, it's kind of similar in that aspect. Um, but I love the episode. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the mid-season finale. If it is, great job. It was a really good season finale, mid-season finale. Cannot wait for, for the mid-season premiere. Um, but if it was not, I'll see you guys next week. I'm, I'm, I, I really don't know. Um, uh, if I, if we have one more episode, I'll do it, uh, and I'll react to it as soon as it's available, you know. I don't know if tomorrow or maybe 
in a month, you know, in January or something like that. I, I have no idea. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue to support for more. Give a lot of thumbs up if you love bad woman if you love wild more let me know in the comment section down below also give it a thumbs up subscribe comment hit the notification bell go to patreon to watch the extended version of this reaction and so much more you can go there link in the description down below thank you so much to everyone who's watching i hope you guys enjoyed and that's it thank you so much i'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for bad woman that's it Mwah. bye guys